guys, Dr. Marr here, and it is 9-7-2013, and coming up on uh, anniversary of 9-11, and all this conflict with uh, uh, Syria that's being uh, broadcast on the airways, so to speak, uh, I thought I'd come on and give a, a message, a message about love in action, and uh, that old uh, adage of be the change you want to see. Um, we are in physical form, and as we balance the mind, body, spirit, emotional, energetic, and we take action by sending love with the intent of peace, harmony, balance across the world, not just America, but in Syria and everywhere else on this planet. Um, every little thing that you can possibly do that you would perceive as love or how you'd want to be treated uh, as far as freedoms and peace and harmony and having your day-to-day uh, -day lifestyle taken care of, which being born on this planet it, it should be a given for every man, woman, child uh, on this planet. And uh, as we've discussed in the past, uh, we're multidimensional beings. And as you raise in your vibration and you raise in your thought process and your intent, and you have that thought, emotion of love, your vibration raises. And therefore, everyone around you they feel the same vibration that you're emitting. And coupled with the fact that we are kind of like radio towers and we're receiving all these inputs of energy from the cosmos. And as you raise your vibration, you can take more and more of this light in. And therefore, you transmute and transcend some of this lower vibratory energies that, that no longer serves. At one point, it did serve us for the purpose of our growth. The same with separation. Some people came here to play the bad guy this time. Some people came here to play the good guy. And in all our other lifetimes, if you have a lower perspective of it, oh, this is a bad guy, this is a negative person. Or you could raise to a higher vibration and look at it as an observer and see it as, oh, without that opposition, there was no growth. And we've talked about this in the past. But to try to pull this all together and talk about love and action, anything that you can possibly do, like recycling, um, buying organic foods, um, you know, when you make a decision of purchasing a, a vehicle in the moment of now, um, you could look at, okay, what is in the greatest good for me, my family, the environment, uh, what's the gas mileage on it? Uh, what's the admissions, all of those things, even the simplest little thing. Every time that you make a decision that's not a selfish decision, but in the greater good of yourself, your family, your, uh, you know, buying locally, um, you know, um, on and on and on. There's so many things that you could think of, but if, if you have the intent of living that way, you become love in action. And you are being the change that you want to see. And all of a sudden, it's what people make call the law of attraction. What you put out is what you bring back to yourself. And you influence all those people around you by you making the verbal statements, by you being the example. And that's how uh, huge changes can be made in a rapid succession. And so I thought I'd come on to remind everybody that we are multidimensional beings and we've incarnated into this lifetime for the purpose of, depending on what level we're talking, it could be a soul growth, it could be learning a lesson, it could be helping humanity, if you're looking at it from a higher perspective, bringing your energies, um, tying up old karmic debt, that's another whole other uh, genre. Uh, and again, I'm speaking generally and all the terms that I'm using right now will hit a different person. 
Some people may email me or write a comment saying, well, this isn't what's going on right now. And well, maybe not in your lifetime, in this lifetime, or your current awareness or your current truth, but it may affect another person. And because we're multidimensional beings, depending where your consciousness lies and where um, your focus is, is what you're drawing to yourself. And that's what the same with your awareness. So if you're focusing on, oh my gosh, are we going to war with Syria? Then you're going to bring more of that to yourself. And as you, you bring fear into your field, you're lowering your vibration, causing acid in, in your physical body. And it, uh, there's actual research out there uh, that shows that our cells kind of shrink down uh, when we're in a lower vibration. And um, let's see, if you're in fear, if you're in a bad mood, if you allow your emotions to take control of your physical body, and as you're thinking of something, it just kind of rolls, rolls, rolls down a hill, so to speak. And the next thing you know, you're in this frantic state. And not only does it affect you and your cells, but it affects those around you. And it's a domino effect. So the point is to catch it early enough to transmute and transcend and recognize, you know, knowing thyself. I mean, it's very important and it's, it can be difficult. Um, you know, taking some constructive criticism also. And not looking at the person that's telling you about yourself, if they say, are you aware that you're doing this? Instead of lashing out at them and thinking they're judging you and, and you allow your ego mind to get involved and drops the whole situation to a lower vibration. Instead of that instant, you know, well, you, instead of pointing the finger back at that person, say, you know, let me think about that. Hmm, I haven't thought of that. And then you go and reflect on it, how much of what they said that you're doing is the truth in your mind and body, spirit, all that. And how much is uh, their judgment? Because some people may be judging you. And, and, you know, I get it sometimes too. People will be judging for my beliefs, my, you know, and even if it's in a higher perspective, it's... For instance, if I'm doing something like recycling in this town that doesn't have recycling, they may judge you and say, what's the point? Nobody else does it. That's a judgment. But I know that I'm doing my part. So, again, the point is to know thyself and not lash out so quickly. Think about it. Because that might be a message that somebody's giving you that you need to take a look at yourself that will help you grow. Because, quite frankly, who does it serve to be in a negative state or a lower vibratory frequency, especially at this time. In the past, it is, it's played its part. You played your part. But now we're in this transition where we need to transmute, transcend, and look at things in love. The highest vibration is love. And if you become love in action, then you, again, not only help yourself, but humanity, the planet, the universe. And we are beacons of light. We are here. If you're on this planet at this time, you've made it through all these transitions and all these, uh, these alignments and all the things that you can find online, then you're part of the, the process. And you've come here to help with this process or for the purpose of the experience. I mean, there's so many reasons, I guess we could say. And again, we're multidimensional. Actually, we're universal. I mean, it's, it goes beyond. It depends where your level of understanding is. But again, I thought it was important right before 9-11 to come on here and say, look, you know what? Be love in action. If you have to go out and protest in a peaceful way, go ahead. If you feel inspired to call your representatives, the congressmen, and say, look, we don't want this. The general population, the, we, we don't want this. You can't, you know, uh, what was the old saying? Uh, Oh, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. Uh, fight fire with fire, I guess is what I'm thinking. That doesn't work. That just potentiates the whole situation and causes more fire. So somebody has to be the bigger person and stand up and say, okay, enough's enough. We need to send love and light. 
And if you can't do any of the physical things that we're talking about, love and action, have the intent in an action, you can lay down on your couch, you can get out into nature, you can do whatever you can, but to close your eyes, balance your physical self, and by allowing all this energy that you're transmuting, transcending, receiving, you're helping the situation. But in that moment, you can have the intent. Send Syria, send the people that are making these decisions about Syria and the rest of the world, for that matter, uh, love and light. And say, look, whatever is in the greatest good of the people, whatever uh, last remnants of karmic energy that has to be transmuted and transcended, allow it to come up, allow us to see it for truly what it is, send it love and light, and allow it to go. Because some of the old energies that are being witnessed are just just that they're old and they're 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 just coming up for review and say okay here it is again in our face do we really want this anymore or have we grown enough to allow it to go away without being uh, causing us an emotional stir that causes us to get into it and uh, uh, fight fire with fire so to speak another thing people are writing me saying about their physical bodies are in pain and misery and remember that you know, the physical body is telling you something. It's like, okay, this may have been a cellular memory from the past. It might be from this lifetime, but it's there to tell you something. When you attract a viral cold, uh, like the common cold, uh, the flu, or anything like that, what part of your body is it affecting? Pay attention to it, and what does it mean to you? You know, uh, if you have this upper respiratory thing, is there a blockage in that energy that you need to recognize? Say, okay, thank you for coming in. I no longer need this anymore. And then allow it to send it love and light and allow it to release. Instead of fighting that fight, I mean, there's a war on terror, there's a war on drugs, there's a war on all this stuff, you know? We're, we're on cancer. And the more you send your attention towards it, like fighting it, that's the resistance. Instead, we should be sending it love, love and light. And this is difficult from what we've been taught all our lives. We have to fight this. We have to, you know, band together against it. Instead, if we band together to send love and light and transcend and transmute, that's the, the basic theme today, is be love in action. And how does one do that? Do what you can in your present moment. Well, I have socioeconomic problems where I can't go out and protest. I don't have the money. I don't... All you have to do is take care of yourself first and foremost. Balance yourself, the mind, body, spirit, emotional, energetic, and um, allow the rest to follow suit. And trust. Trust in yourself. Trust that you're a divine being of love and light. And we're running out of time here, so um, hopefully I hit on everything. Being love in action is the, the message of the day. And sending you guys love, light, and laughter. And uh, till next time.